Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question that many developers encounter in their containerization journey. Our viewer asks, is a Docker file necessary for Google Container Builder, or can CloudBuild.yaml handle all use cases? Let's dive in. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's explore whether a Docker file is necessary when using Google Container Builder. First, it's important to understand what a Docker file is. In Google Container Builder, you can use a cloudbuild.yaml file to define your build steps. However, this file alone may not cover all use cases. For custom containers, especially when you need to install packages or copy files, a Docker file is often still used. This is because it provides a more structured way to define the image. While you can perform some tasks directly in cloudbuild.yaml, using a Docker file can simplify complex builds and ensure consistency across environments. In summary, while cloudbuild.yaml can handle many tasks, a Docker file is still essential for custom container builds in Google Container Builder. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Using a Docker file with the docker build command is the easiest way to create a Docker container image. It's common to have a cloudbuild.yaml file that includes a step to build the image from the Docker file. The Docker file allows for easy installation of dependency packages. You can also use cloudbuild.yaml for other tasks before or after building the image. Container Builder lets you build and push multiple images tied to the same git commit, and you can run builds in parallel. Check the documentation for more details. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.